Once you've sent your character from the iClone character creator into iClone, you're ready to start animating your character and getting it prepared for going into your game engine. Here we have the character that we designed inside character creator and as you can see we've got the procedural holes uh, that are showing through as well as the procedural dirt that we did of course the clothing is conformed to the character's body style uh, that we created and uh, i can use my uh, camera keys again here if i select my character and then you can see the face uh, again as we have it. So we have our character inside iClone now which means we're totally ready to animate and whenever you bring a character inside iClone you're going to be able to select that character and then you'll see in the modify panel on the right hand side there are a number of different options that you would have uh, to begin working with the character and so for animation we're going to click on the animation icon tab here and so the animation tab will allow us to actually start working with uh, building animation for our character and getting our character moving and so there's a few ways that we can do this that really f help to fill out the basic needs for a character controller that we would have like in unity and so we'll first take a look at our motion puppet and the motion puppet you can find uh, here on the right hand side of the modify menu and this brings up the motion uh, puppet panel and this panel allows you to create the idols mood different mood behaviors and reactions uh, different moves like walk cycles run cycles and then gestures for talking so this kind of stuff is great for like non uh, playable characters um, and that sort of thing that you might want to have spread out through a village, a city street, and so on. So here are your different motions that you do have to choose from. We'll take a look at a couple of these. Like if you just needed a natural idle, you could select idle, natural, and then you have preview and record. And so preview lets you start uh, taking a look at the actual uh, preview and, uh, and, and the motion itself and do an estimation for what you might need to do to uh, get it to be fine-tuned for your character. And that's what we do with all of these slider bars here. So all of this can be fine-tuned in real time. So automatically I can see I've got a problem with my hand is uh, causing some collision there. So easy way to fix that if I want is to just uh, work with the motion here. And I can raise the elbow a little bit and get go ahead and get that away from the leg so you can work with the motion that way you can turn up the exaggeration more if you need a, a more exaggerated motion he really looks over his shoulder a lot there or maybe a little bit less it's just a little subtle so you can fine-tune these motions the way you want and uh, for non-animators this is a really great tool it gives you something that you can actually work with and start generate mo generating motions immediately for animators though this is going to help you speed up doing what you already know how to do best and i'll show you how you can add your own flavor to that here shortly Okay, so now let's take a look at a few more motions. Say you wanted to have a character in an idle stance, but looking around curiously, you could use an idle motion just like this. And in fact, if you wanted to have a motion a bit longer, we could just move our playhead out a bit more and then preview that again. And you'll see that the motion lasts a bit longer with more performance. So you can record up to as much as you like of this. And then of course, adjust things like the exaggeration. If you want it to be a lot less, it's just more of a subtle kind of thing. You could do that. And of course we still have our arms issue. And so we need to fix that. So we'll go to uh, raising up our arms just like so, and then maybe raising our elbows a little bit and a little more arms and so on. So you could keep working with that, uh, put them back. And then later on, we can also animate the fingers and get our hands the way we want them as well. Uh, that still needs to be up a bit more. So we can do a motion like this and get loops like that. Or we can also do things like getting our characters on the move with motions from the motion puppet for walks and uh, animation uh, runs and that sort of thing. So we can go into preview mode here on these motions and you can see we can set up a really quick run motion. Uh, we can uh, raise up the arms here so we can get them a little bit out of the chest. You could keep working with that and do things like have the character run in a slouch if you want or more looking up and away and so on. So you can make the stride longer. Uh, you can make the stride 
stride shorter. So you can work with the run cycles and the walk cycles to get exactly what you want. So with making characters move, you can also do things like more stylized moves. So if you needed something like an angry walk for a character, then we've got something like this that you could start with and then, uh, of course, start to accentuate the way you need. Like if you need something that's more maybe of a d determined walk than a less angry walk, then maybe you want to bring his head up like so. Or, you know, again, put it right back down that way with the slider so you can also save all of these settings so as you're making a character work and uh, animate if you like what you see and you're actually building a character for a game and so on then you can go ahead and save that profile here as well to get all of these parameters so that you can get to them again later on so just a helpful tip there um, so you have lots of different motions that you can do uh, as far as that's concerned things like just you know your kind of cool walk a little more stylized cartoon sort of thing. And then you've got you know, your basic walk that you can start to tune with or fine tune rather and so on. So lots of different things there. There are also some more gender based things that are that are maybe a bit stereotypical, but you can certainly use those. And then we have things like gestures like talking and so on. So if you wanted to have uh, like a gestural response, then we've got quick stuff in here that you can use. And you can always record these and mix and blend these together. Um, so you know, speaking of, of recording, we want to take a look at being able to create a motion that, that we can use and actually put inside a game here. So I'm just kind of flipping through some of these here that we have, and you can see the different, uh, different motions that we have for the talks. And then we have things like moods, um, you know, and just looking for something that might work. And, and, you know, this beginning of this motion right here actually struck me. This is an anger motion, but I really like the beginning of this motion because it feels like kind of an exerted idle. So you'll see what I mean if I stop this and, and, and play it again, like here. So you can always find parts of motions that might work too. And I liked this, just previewing motions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up the playhead here and just get an, a, a sense for how this might look if I preview it with just a little bit. Now, it's not an exact loop, but I'm starting to get kind of an idea. And that really is what I want because this guy is going to be exasperated whenever he's in the game. He's he's not real happy with his conditions. So, and this is a fictitious game, but we're developing a level nonetheless. So, um, he his fate will, will be unknown forever. So, too bad for him. So, now what we can do is take a motion, something like, you know, this that we want. And I'll even record a little bit more. And then we can preview that one more time. And so it's completely nonlinear, which is great with this motion editing, is that you have the ability to, you know, I can even fine tune with the playhead. Now, I don't have to get a perfectly loopable motion here because Unity is going to do that for me. So I'm just going to leave this like intentionally kind of not perfectly looped. And I'll show you how we get that in there.